Awati wa soro oluwa Loni shekini onyi mba We have come before the Lord Today shekini onyi mba Awake alleluia See your oluwa Shekini onyi baba Loni 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 lo joy yeah Awa shekini onyi baba Midnight Crew is made up of wonderfully and greatly talented individuals. You know, each individual has its um, uniqueness that, you know, it's so mind blowing and awesome. Being a member of Midnight Crew taught me that um, if you have a God given vision, and if you believe that vision long enough and exercise your faith long enough and take the necessary action you can actually live out that vision you can actually see before your very own eyes the dream come to pass i was bolder to set out uh, with my own personal visions because of what i saw god do in midnight Crew. Um, it could have been a great struggle for me. Being a member of Midnight Crew has been a huge blessing to me. Um, I pretty much, uh, when people ask me who are my mentors, I, I try to search mentors. I discover I don't have any. I don't have mentors. So what I have uh, are role models. And uh, honestly, it's so safe to say that every member of Midnight Crew is a role model to me. So it's been great impact to my life being being a member of Midnight Crew. We all like basically work on our strengths and we allow the strength of this individual to creep in. You know, the creative, the, the spirit filled mind, um, the standard, the quality mind and by the time we fuse in every of this quality, uh, you know, the qualities in our in our group. Um, before we know it, we're moving to another level, another level, another level. Because of Midnight Crew, I was able to take steps and now um, I'm happy doing what I'm doing now. I'm also very, very happy because um, I think, like Michael would put it, he, he would say that destiny found us. I think that the four of us together was was not a mistake it, it was well orchestrated well well calculated by god and god used the platform made like to help us to learn from one another to buy values by principles from one another that we are applying in our individual lives today and it's helping us 
in our own personal ventures. Being a part of Midnight Crew has greatly impacted me, both musically and spiritually, you know. Being a member of Midnight Crew has um, helped me improve on, on myself as a person. I'm a better person from who I used to be um, when we first met. I have grown on them, they've grown on me. And, um, you know, my spiritual life is not the same again. My musical life and my musical career is not the same. You know, being a member of this group has greatly impacted me. Fortunately for us, the Midnight Crew, we, we, we recognize very clearly that we are first of all children of God and having the Bible as our standard. And we made it a point of responsibility to ensure that we do not do anything that is contrary to the Word of God first and foremost. And then we have to also learn spiritual and natural principles for success. We we decided to obey the word and pray together as a team and um, sow seeds so that we can reap bountifully and um, a couple of a lot of other things we also set um, policies guiding rules and um, regulations that help us in the area of um, money our finances and every other thing decision making who does what, who goes where, and all that. What we do is, everything that has to do with money, we have rules. Everything that has to do with rehearsals, we have rules. We don't just do anything anyhow. And even one of the very first thing that we laid down was, we are not going to get married to each other, because um, that's going to spoil a whole lot of things, you know. This one would say, oh, that's my husband. Why are you talking to him that way? This one would say, that's my wife. You know, you, you ought not to say anything in that direction, you know. So we saw that happening in all the groups and all the choirs. We, we just told ourselves, you know what? We're not going to get married to each other. Everybody go looking for their spouses out there. Pretty much it's been uh, very well organized because, of course, uh, um, there's structure and... Um, 
uh, within the structure there are people that do you know things you know and um, you're, you're made to know what time and uh, they you're made to know your shadows put it that way so you know your shadows and uh, uh, you put them in line you know? so, so it doesn't mix up when it's time for midnight crew it's time for midnight crew when it's time for my good as much as possible, we make sure that we have a calendar plan. We have a, an international manager and we have a local manager. We try as much as possible to manage our time in the sense that we have a calendar and we notify individuals about programs and events within Nigeria and outside Nigeria. For the programs that we have outside of Nigeria, we try as much as possible to um, make sure the dates are together so the people that work night five job could actually take their leave annual leave at the time that we need to go outside of nigeria for our administration so i think we, we we've just been able to walk that around and it has actually paid off all of this structure we lay them down and we just walk accordingly we don't you know jump and it, it made the step beautiful and um, you know like we could say Ayo you're in charge of the welfare we could say Benga you're in charge of finance which that's what we did then the creatives and um, Michael Abdul and the admin Patricia Keynes if it's creative Michael is speaking if it's finance Benga is speaking so at the end of the day um, everything is just rolling out fine actually motivated us to stay together as a group I think is a God factor you know it's not about us we didn't just wake up one day and say oh we want to sing no God has never said things he said he knows the end from the beginning even while I would see part of to the to the gate of the choir practice he knew that I was going to be a member of original of choir he knew that I was going to be a member of midnight crew so I think it was just God it was all about God he and that's the glue that's keeping all of us together even though individuals we have platforms right now that you know we're expressing you know presently we're still together as a group because it is about god it is not about individuals i actually do have a nine to five job i i work as a logistics officer on the agenda project of total upstream nigeria limited 
we started off we asked ourselves what would you want to do what would you want to do what do you what would god have you do also and um, we started off four years ago and um, i have an album titled he's done me well and uh, right now the album dropped about uh, three months ago in the markets and um we, we we're not stopping there we're still moving on um, we want to drop everything God has deposited in us. However, you know, before we had to come together corporately, um, God has given every individual this assignment. So we want to die empty. That's why we're encouraging individuals to start whatever God has asked them to do while we are still together and while we are very much doing what God wants us to do as members of Midnight Crew. And we are not stopping now. We want to take it to another level. I came up with an album called Good To Go. The album felt like good to go away from Midnight Crew. <laughs> but that's not what it was. But it was good to go, meaning that God created everything and said, you're good. I believe that God made man, God made everybody, and looked into your eyes made Michael to looked at me and said, Michael, you're good, you can go. So I believe that everybody on the surface of the earth is good to be here. If you're not good enough, uh, Standard Organization of Nigeria will not allow some products. You understand? The standard organization of the whole world is God. Okay? He, he is the standard. And the, by God's standard, you're good to go. So I did an album uh, which included the song Morire, uh uh, I enjoyed that song. Morire, morire, morire. Eh, this is okay. Take it. I am a quantity surveyor by profession. I am actually a registered and a chartered quantity surveyor. Um, I work with Lagos State Civil Service. I'm presently with the Works and Housing Department of um, the Fakonjai Local Government. I have also been privileged to start a ministry called um, Zerma Square, um, where we bring uh, a group of people who have um, singing abilities, ministry-minded people, and then we make them into a choir as well as equip them with what it takes to be successful in music ministry. I'm enjoying all the season. <laughs> you know, the season where you have to carry a baby, the season where the babies are here, they're running up and down, the season where your man is asking you, uh, where's my food, and the season where you have to uh, get on and take your uh, bags for rehearsals. It's demanding, but God is faithful. Uh, is a faithful God. Uh, he has blessed us with wonderful people that they are not stressful. Once you are feeling the pain, they are giving you a smile. And before you know it, you just begin to feel relaxed. You know, uh, when you're back, they say, oh, sorry, can we help you with your bags and all that? They're just trying to help and love you, you know. Mm -hmm.